Across the windswept Arctic, the apology has long been sought, a recognition of ongoing pain. They were not allowed to go back to their home without saying goodbye and or pick up a few things. When the doctor said, you have TB, you're not getting off the ship. Many in Joanna Kumalak's family boarded that ship, moved south for treatment, held for a year or more, often kept in bed the entire time their families rarely told where they'd gone. Many never came back, including Joanna's grandfather. It took me a couple of years to find the cemetery, talk to people from the hospital. Knowing the pain from lack of closure, Akumalek found the grave in Ontario, bringing his dad and uncle to see their father. My dad and uh, my uncle cried and cried and cried because this was the first time that they have seen their father's grave. Their dad left and he never returned. And my, my father has been hurt by it because all the things that they lived through before all came back to him. Eva Ariak was Nunavut's second premier, but remembers that ship well. Her grandmother died after being taken away, where no one knows exactly. And then then we her mother was taken, time. leaving yeah. her at 10, Instead the eldest child, and, and to help to run the home. By losing someone, either your father or your siblings or your mother, um, at a young age can be traumatic. TB is still a problem in the north. A year ago in Kikatarjuak, one in 10 people was found to be infected with active TB. It's often considered a poor country's disease, the result of a housing crisis, too few homes and too many people in them. If you have 20 people living in a three or four bedroom house, that means four or five people are sharing a bedroom, um, sleeping in shifts and in very close quarters. It makes it much more likely for tuberculosis to spread. And that is a long-standing problem, something no apology can cure. David Common, CBC News, Iqaluit.